you're stuck in a room of white cubes. Since you can see your hands wearing strange gloves, you're definitely not wearing a straitjacket, so a futuristic padded cell is unlikely. A voice over a radio tells you that the Earth is going to be destroyed, and you were sent to stop it, but you've been out cold for a while, and catastrophe is imminent. The voice says that they are on the International Space Station, and will lose radio contact as they orbit. Out of curiosity, I looked up how long it takes the ISS to orbit the Earth. Once every 92 minutes, the voice returned it during my 30 minute playthrough, so either the voice is lying, time is compressed in this cubed landscape, or story details were fudged for the sake of expedience. My initial time with Cube was one of wonder and discovery. Each area has colored blocks that can be manipulated by your gloves. These puzzle rooms are set up to teach you how everything works and to test your understanding of their interaction. Not only that, but once you're used to how certain blocks operate, a solution might need you to use these blocks in a way either you hadn't considered before or in a way that flies in the face of your understanding of how the block works. The room that I spent the most time stuck in its solution revolved around this idea, and it made me feel more than a little silly when I finally figured out the solution. If I played more, the game might be different, but in my time with it, it became apparent that there is only one solution per puzzle, or there is only meant to be one. This removes an element of puzzle games that I consider crucial from a personal enjoyment standpoint. The ability to play around with the mechanics to give your brain something to do while your non-conscious mind is working on the solution. It's one reason Portal is so enjoyable. The Portal gun allows for fooling around when it isn't being used to find more than one way past any obstacle. In Cube, you have rotating sections of wall, spring blocks, and obstacle courses. But there's only ever one proper way to do things, and no real room to play around with all these interplaying systems. It's one reason why I was willing to stop playing. 